Now that we have looked at how to create a thread, what are the different types of threads and properties of a thread, let us understand why we need to create threading or the threaded program. A threaded program is required in cases where you are going to have an animation or a client server type of programs. But these are not the only places where you need to use threading, there are multiple other reasons for making use of threads. For example, in our event handling also, it is multi-threaded. It creates a thread and within the thread, the event handler method gets executed. So let's take a look at animation. You would have, you would have seen that a lot of animations which keep running will also let you specify certain features for that animation use, uh, through a user, uh, through a, GU, a GUI that is a graphical user interface and depending on what values you feed in, accordingly the animation also changes. But just because when you are feeding in the data in the GUI, the animation does not stop, it keeps running on its own. Now how are both of these possible, letting the user enter into the UI as well as the animation happening on the same application or on the same program is again multi-threaded and you know animation keeps occurring again and again, so it has to be in a while through loop. In case of a client server program, you have a client machine and a server. Let us take an example, all of us connect to Yahoo server. Is we all say yahoo.com. How does Yahoo give a response to each one of our requests? Each request is treated as a thread at, at the server for each user request. So it creates a thread within that thread, it takes the request from the user, processes the request, writes back a response to the client. So client server programs are multi-threaded for every client request. Let us take a look at an animated program. We are going to write an applet program which is going to display a banner just saying welcome to banner program. So let us see how to do that. We are going to have a string variable In the start method, we are going to create an instance of thread. So t is equal to new thread of the runnable object. So we are using the sec, uh, second methodology. So let us have this class implement runnable interface. And the runnable object is the this reference, the current object which has invoked the start method is also a runnable object. You need to create a thread object only if t is null and then start the thread. In the stop method of the thread, if t not equal to null, we will call the stop on the thread. We also need to override the pain method. in which you do a draw string 
of s at x comma y position let us say 10 comma 50. When you have implemented the runnable interface you need to override the run method. So, public void run this is where the functionality of the thread is. Now, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to change the data in animation what happens is it goes in a while true loop because it keeps happening again and again till the application ends. Change the data, redisplay the information, wait for a while and again go back to changing the data. So, what we are going to do is initially we will display welcome to banner program, then we will display welcome to banner program w and then welcome to banner program v. So, in other words we keep extracting the first character of the string and add that to the end of the string. So, that way it keeps rolling as if it is a circular banner. So, in order to achieve this we write this into a thread. So, we have a while true loop. We need a character variable because we are going to extract the first character and store it into a character variable, put it into a string. So, we say ch is equal to s dot to extract the first character char at 0. You get the first character into ch. Now, what you do is s is equal to s dot substring from the second character till the end of the string. So, that is 1 comma s dot length you extract and put it back into s. So, what s now has is e l c o m e to banner program. Now, the extracted first character is in the c h variable add that to the string. So, s plus is equal to c h. So, you get e l c o m e to banner program w inside the string s. You need to redisplay this string. So, call a repaint method. Put the thread to a sleep state. For a few milliseconds. Remember the sleep method throws interrupted exception. End the loop, end the run function and the class. So, what is happening here is a thread gets into a while true loop, keeps extracting the first character extracts the second character till the string puts it into a string attaches the first character to the end of the string. When the repaint is called the repaint is a method in the component class which we have inherited via applet. The repaint what it does is it schedules the update method to be called update is another method in the component class which also takes a graphics object as parameter. So, paint repaint and update are methods of the component class. When you call a repaint, it is going to repaint the entire size of an applet. So, that is it is going to schedule the update to be called and when the update is called, the update in turn calls your paint method, the paint method is going to draw the string again. So, when you call repaint, finally the paint will be called to display the value of s and the value of s has changed due to your change of data out here. So, that is how you get a change of information on the screen. If you want you can specify repaint of so many milliseconds which means to say within the specified milliseconds the update has to be called. Suppose let us say you have called a repaint method 
repaint has scheduled the update to be called. By the time update is called again the repaint has been called. What the repaint does is it does not bother scheduling the update again because already scheduled update method has not been executed. So, it does not bother creating another update method. So, whatever scheduled update method when it gets executed it will display the change of information. You can also specify to repaint only certain portion of your UI. Now, here we said we are repainting the entire applet because how do I know it is applet? Because you are uh, calling repaint, we, uh, when you call just the repaint, it is like saying this dot repaint and what is that this? It is nothing but an applet. Okay. 